Welcome to... Actually, wait, where, where... There it is. It's going on now. Good. Welcome to, uh... Vandal Hearts 2. It, it's a thing. You wanna make your tech speed fast for this, because otherwise it's kind of a fucking train wreck. And I need to, uh, do this. Oh, fuck. Oh god. To a new game. Good evening. I... This is Vincent uh, Price. Uh, <laughs> Vincent Price. Okay. So. Okay. You get back in your grave. I'm actually about to lie. Okay. In the whole year of 1980... I mean, 986. Not 1986, what the fuck. <laughs> Some guy named Lagor, the king of Natra, was assassinated by his wife. Yes, his wife. And yeah. by a cardinal, I guess. Yeah. And also, they installed a, an infant as the king. And the queen had uh, appointed the cardinal as the uh, premier. Deep Together, within, they assume control of an iron fist. <laughs> And the uh, cardinal had an oppressive rule, and liked to torture, deceive, assassinate, and uh, inform. I don't know. He says that he uses torture, deception, assassination, and informants. Okay. What a son of a bitch. Anyway, see, we're now loading. <laughs> yeah, you see, the problem. And is, now we're going to get to the. If it was Vincent Price, he would not need informants because he would do the job himself. That's right. I mean, you'd, I don't think you need Vincent Price for the amazing opening cinematic of this game. You need Vincent Price for everything. Vincent Price is going to see it very better. shortly here, but it's fucking great. <laughs> I'm like really gonna blow something up. I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> without insurance, it drops from 800 to 186. Yes, this is happening. Ah. Uh, if all one cares about hard days to sign up for. I don't know, but do you care about swords in the throat? Yes! I love them. A lot of this is gonna be happening in this game. Yes. Wait, can I sign so, up for insurance now? Uh, maybe? Uh, for next year. Fuck! <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, a woman just got dragged to an alleyway here, and... In the uh, Discord channel with me, I've got three guests. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. During this maddening uh, scene of watching an old man get cut down in front of what is presumably his granddaughter. Soon, right. it's be his me, your boy, yes. Funkmaster Steve. Okay, Funkmaster Steve. No, Spunkmaster. Spunkmaster Steve. <laughs> yes. From I StickyBros.com. <laughs> <Gone. laughs> Good evening. Believe. Yeah, that was more that was more Lugosi for me. Yeah. Okay. Really How do you turn up the this stone? Really is trying to trying to dodge the IRA. And and also, IRA. The IRA. <laughs> Everyone had to turn up. Yes. <laughs> this, last minute. this lieutenant wants to spare no one. He wants to kill the old, the young, and everyone. Everybody dying. Damn. Good. Also, he has a dumb name. <laughs> But it's not revealed just yet. This is bullshit. And also, <laughs> that man looks like Brad Pitt. It is Brad Pitt. God is damn. More so is our heroes. He wants to make them stop. <sighs> the people are innocent. <laughs> You know what's amazing is that while, while I'm literally just playing Audible online, I'm just hearing, like, Luke here, and it just, it's like he's DMing. It's yes, amazing. the commander goes, hmm. That's so very true. This was my very intention. And then slashes the man in the throat. He's like, Bruh. That's brutal. Yes. <clears throat> What's well, that an example of this village? <laughs> It hobbit if you you know, I imagine this guy sounds like fucking Wesker. You'll understand why does. later. <laughs> Chris! You know what? That's why I should name my character's name. Chris. Chris. 
Oh no! You devil is God forsaken me? us. <laughs> There's a bit of a delay in the stream, sorry. You and then here, I'm gonna hang so. here for a moment to watch this amazing dialogue. <laughs> and then this game has the audacity to give the you a subtitle to go along with the game. And that subtitle, my friends, is Heavenly Gate. So it's a... Uh... Uh... The Vinyl Hearts games originated from Japan, but... Okay. They, but... but Where was this made in? This was made in, like, 99, I think? The first game, I think, was 97. Hold on, I want to do a check on here. Vandal Just Hearts to make 2. Sure that this didn't happen around the same time as that Heaven's Gate cult thing. Because if that's yeah. the case. Okay, look up the Japan's Heaven's Gate. very cult. insensitive. <laughs> what? <laughs> In the kingdom of Natra, far north of the capital, it is the isolated village of Palata. I grew up on its hard, unforgiving land. <laughs> <laughs> As a child, I believe that the idyllic days would last forever. Little did I know of the great war that would engulf us all. If only, if only <sighs> there had not been that chance encounter, my destiny perhaps would never have changed. Dun dun dun. Bum, bum, bum. Now loading. If we had never had that chance encounter with the loading screen, oh no. perhaps we would not progress. Okay, they gave it two years. You said it's like 99. Okay, the uh, mass suicide of Heaven's Gate was 1997, so... Oh god, right, the they, gave it a couple, they gave it a couple years. They were planning for this all along in the first Vandal Hearts game. I swear. And now we cut to a kid standing on top of his house, trying to catch a butterfly? A butterfly. We have a buff boy, a slight boy, and a female. And a butterfly. And we almost had that, uh, butterfly. The girl's like, please come down, don't hurt yourself, you idiot. Main character's like, shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna catch this thing. Hello? Yeah. I heard huh? a click somewhere. I think it was just somebody messaging. Oh. Maybe. No, I accidentally pressed, like, a uh, voice chat on my phone. Damn I it. see. Oh, and I, I fell off the mill. I... We have it here, folks. The main character fell off the mill. He's oh, fucking hard. dead. Okay. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm gonna get in here. Getting in it. Yucking it. Up. And he is in the darkness. Kind of like how every Kingdom Hearts game ends up going. Hey, come yeah. on, wake up. No, open your hey, eyes. On. Get in the dark. He's breathing. Look, he's waking up and he's manually breathing. Listen! Hey, listen! And the fallen boy goes ouch. The girl wonders if he was cut. I'd be more concerned if he broke any bones. Ooh, uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh no, he has amnesia. Same. Everyone is concerned. <laughs> the girl wonders what is wrong. Brownie boy's like he probably hit his head. He wonders who something. He wonders who's something. The skinny boy is like, he's probably confused from the shock. Let's relax, and, uh, can you remember your name? Good. Class. The slight boy has the important questions. Now, I should note that there are only... six letters. I'm gonna make it all... No, no. That wasn't There's only six letters? Yes. 
this is actually a really big game. Hold on. Six letters for a name? Yep. But boy, uh... Show the fucking door, to be probably. fair, though, the previous game made it so that no one could have customized names. And in the shitty prequel that they made called Vanal Hearts Flames of Judgment, no one could change their names either. So, in some way, this is a step up for, in that you could name your main character or something. It were Chris! Chris! Do we remember our friends? The brawny boy is Clive. I could just imagine this, like six letters and they're all vowels. His dad runs the tavern here. The slight yeah. boy is girl, on girl, have... girl action. His name is you Yuri, the village genius. You have uh, all vowels. Come up with a name with A-E-I-O-U-L-N-Y. <laughs> you monster. Anyway, the little guy is girl on girl action. Well, I mean Yuri, excuse me. Well, and I'm and I'm beginning to remember. And then, he, girl and girl action goes. Thank you, Jesus of this game, for your kind blessing. There's a character named Girl and Girl Action. His name is Yuri. Ill. His name. He. Anyway, Chris was trying to catch L, a butterfly. By the way. <laughs> and the girl's like, whoo. That was really dumb of you. Mm. No butterfly could be careless enough to be caught by you. You had your ass to me. And then I I'm like, huh? <laughs> and that girl's like, what? Why are you staring at me like that? He is confused. You, who are you? Oh no. He forgot the girl. You're joking, right? <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. I was, uh... I was born to be a clown. And now my head hurts for no good reason. Ha <laughs> yeah. My god. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh god. You know what? And then Chris is just irking around. You know what the problem is. She then wonders if he's dizzy. Honestly, that's kind of a dumb question to ask. Because <laughs> we're about to learn why he's doing this. She's like, we gotta get a doctor, ah! And then Chris coughs. Girl is confused now. He coughs and urges some more. The girl's like, Chris? And I start laughing. Chris. Chris is a jerk in this game. You might think he is the good guy purely because we are playing as him, but in all honesty, it depends on how we uh, roleplay later in this game. And also, the girl's name is Adele. Oh, I was hoping it was Jill. Not quite. But it is Adele. Rolling in the deep. Ah! You know. What's going on, nerds? Hello. Streaming. I am streaming this uh, very awkward game. I say One awkward in that. Oh, hi, Colin. You're here, too, in the chat. Colin. Yay. My idea funny is dumb. Colin, you there? <laughs> no, he's in the chat. He's in he's the, in the, the chat. Stream chat. It's great. Uh, if anyone can contact Colin, tell him Kodo said fuck you. God damn it, <laughs> Kodo. He can hear you, you know. Oh, can he? And also, the greatest <laughs> insult is here. Actually, it's going to be the next frame. Good evening. Hey, now, wait a sec, I don't deserve all of this. Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll allow that to, ch to the chat. He said fuck off, Codell. <laughs> uh... 
How's everybody now, doing? The greatest uh, comeback so. comes on here. <laughs> if I'm as dumb as a bug, you're as, about as smart as a slug. It's funny because bugs actually have a nervous system and slugs don't. <laughs> oh god. I don't. Not anymore. <laughs> and Colin is already making mods. And he won't be. He will not be silenced. That's right. Don't take no shit, Colin. Hey, if the princess here didn't mouth off. And then. The pr then Adele's like, you're an idiot. Be that way your whole life. And then storms off into the distance. And girl and girl action declares, boy, she's steamed. I'm going to break this calculator. Wow. <laughs> no, no, not even claiming my South scholarships or anything. Everything's a no. I don't give a fuck anymore. Just, I want this to be done. And then Clive notices how this always happens when... You know, uh, the bank and the girl walk. get together. And they do your taxes for you. That's what I did. They yes. did my taxes. Who? H and R Block. Walk. They did my taxes. Well, I, I didn't have that option. Yeah. Last minute. Twitch can well, kind of be silly at times. Did you make more than five thousand dollars in 2017? Yes. You can also okay, be kind of weird how to engage the, ho the auto hosting. Basically, you have to go to your dashboard and do some modifications from there. It's okay, the IRS extended the tax deadline to tomorrow because everyone's, like, a whole bunch of software glitched. Yeah, see, the IRS is having some issues at the moment. Anyway. Yeah, they had, they had, they had a problem. Yuri doesn't think that, uh, yeah, she's that snooty because, so as it turns I'm out, gonna lose my goddamn Adele is the daughter of the governor, but she doesn't look down okay. on us poor people. I was unemployed 2017, so therefore I don't have to do taxes. Basically, no, the good nobles fighting. are Adele and her grandpa, whose name is Cosimo. That's a great name, Cosimo. Yes. And it turns out I did catch that fucking butterfly. And I didn't crush it, apparently. Kevin. Hmm. Hi. And I'm about uh... to do a really dumb thing. I she said it before she wanted it. Wah. And... That's how they get you. It's a trap. I'm going out for a mm. cigarette. Okay. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Since when does Codell smoke? College. Forever. He smoked for forever. <sighs> and a young girl's like, Big brother! I'll be back. I'm not gonna And... Okay. We meet Rosalie, our little sister. I shall return. Okay, dokie. And get a drink. Meanwhile, we're gonna get set up for battle. Giga slugs are attacking someone in the field. Oh no, not slugs. The thing that we just called Adele. What are you playing? Luke? I'm playing Vandal Hearts 2. It is a okay. game for the PlayStation 1. And Rollback. it's the sequel to the acclaimed game where he became Birdman Jesus. <laughs> Unfortunately, Birdman Jesus is nowhere to be found in this game. Okay, okay. Instead, have it someone else that is probably the equivalent of Jesus in this game. Hello there! Yo. What is up? <coughs> I it's got the dragon. And I hit it to... Vandal Hearts 2. Heavenly Gate. Which happened... Which was released two years after the Heaven's Gate Massacre... Uh, mass suicide thing that Stallman pointed out way earlier in the stream. And Rosalie decides to stay right here because, well. reasons. She doesn't bother t guiding us to where the location is, we just automatically know where it is. So, 
We see the Giga Slugs and a man who is slashing at slugs with a sword. Can you tell me what happens when you do that? Exactly. That happened. They're splitting. They're a splitting. Like, like fission or like mitosis? Uh, you cut them with a sword and they split in half. It's slime logic. So fission. Indeed. He must be chopping them for regular sword. Sir, don't fight them with your sword. <laughs> and then mad, not knowing the circumstances, like, but what? Why? <laughs> and we declare as the children, we'll save you. And man's like, don't be stupid, stand back, you idiots, it's dangerous. But little did this guy know that, um, you kind of have to throw salt on these guys to kill them. <laughs> and we have weapons made of rock salt. Eyes and empty. Yes, we have rock salt. Specifically, they're considered to be swords. But and they're made of salt. It's fabulous. I have a pizza and an unfinished assignment. That's what I have. Alright. So, the quirk about this game is that you can arrange your guys however you want before you start the battle. Which is something that you didn't have in the first Final Hearts game. They were prearranged back then. Progress! Yes. And it's also something that you lost when the prequel to Final Hearts Flames of Judgment came out. In that game, I cannot stop <laughs> talking about how shitty it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, they had some interesting things in there, but still. Another interesting thing about this game. You and your opponent take actions at the same time. That's weird. Yes. They probably did it so that they wouldn't take like 5,000 years for the opponent to take a turn after you take a turn, and etc. 5,000 years? Yes. Yeah, like every single freaking Final Fantasy game? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Although, don't be fooled by that being a thing. This game will still take you 5,000 years because it's a very long game. It's a JRPG, that's why. <laughs> what does the J stand for? Japanese. Okay. And you can also do bullshit like this to trick the opponent into moving to certain positions. And it turns out I kind of failed to predict his position. I don't really get why Japanese RPGs are so goddamn grindy. I don't know. Although, there's another thing. This game has grinding. The previous game didn't really have grinding to speak of. Because in the previous game, you couldn't repeat battles, and you couldn't grind locations to, to level up your characters ahead of time. So you just kind of had to know to level up this one guy before it's too late. Of course, then again, it's better than the frickin' Sierra uh, adventure games, where yeah. it's like... You have to where, catch uh, this the... mouse in a certain... Hit this cat with a boot before it's too late. Yeah. Or else you're screwed for the entire game. Yeah, it's like the game lasts like one minute long, but good luck trying to figure the puzzles out. Perfect. <laughs> And if you don't figure this puzzle out within, like, the first five minutes of the game while you're doing the tutorial, then you're fucking screwed. <laughs> also, like most of these tactical RPGs that rely on positioning, positioning does matter. If you and I <laughs> are threatening the same guy, you get support. Hmm. The converse happens for you as well. And I leveled up, yay. Or Chris leveled up. How does he spell his name? 
I capitalized it and wrote C H R I S. Well, it's just in all caps. I say I made it all caps. Yeah. Great. The guy's the guy's default name is Joshua. Interesting. If, say that's the canon name at least. But he kept getting high all the time, so therefore uh, he had yeah. to switch the name. Are you making a backhanded comment? Maybe. No, and I'm making a joke. Now our sister is yelling for help at someone because expense? she decided to stay outside for no for some dumb reason. Anyway, we won this mission. Is that a lot? Also, our our rewards are called booty. <laughs> it's the booty. We gain 240 gold. And if you don't, piss. if you don't lose anyone, you double your booty. Take a while. He's just been taking a while. Say, so he had to go to the bathroom, didn't he? Hey, did, did, like, did he say he was going to the bathroom, or did he say he was going to going to going to take a piss? Hmm. I don't, I don't know if I heard him. Either way, perfectly. there's a a monster threatening our sister. That and asshole. she and she's too dumb to go into the house and lock herself inside. And Chris's like, Rosalie! And Clyde's like, it's an egg where am I? And girl and girl action is, it must have been attracted by the Giga Slugs. That will be a joke that will carry through this entire stream. I'm sorry. Saul doesn't Giga affect slugs. the egg worm. And then man is like, stand back. We try to right. persuade him to stand back. But he, he doesn't. But little does he know, he too is also versed in the art of strategy RPGs. Because he sidesteps that goddamn worm and kills him. Oh yeah! It's a rather impressive kill, actually. One of these days, Luke, I picture you, it's like, I am streaming Zork. You know, that might happen someday. <laughs> and then the man collapsed onto the ground because wounds. He has blood. He was hurt. Girl's like, oh no, we have to take him to Dr. Boner, I mean Bonner, right away. If he changed that A to an E, it'd be Boner. I swear. I mean, you can still read it, Boner. And I've got three viewers. Hooray. Oh, sweet! And it is... There's someone named Wereplasma in the chat. Hi, Wereplasma. Or at least, as a viewer. How is he, Dr. Boner? There, he'll be fine, lad. And, yeah, we are. He's no in danger of meeting his maker. There is something, though. Oh, no. What is that something? A problem? Oh, yeah. The mayor's name is Cordeth. <laughs> and we get a revelation. A plot twist this early on. He is attacked by monsters, apparently. Plot twist. But... The injuries Hello. that he has. I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. He came in just in time to notice the plot, the plot twist where a man wasn't injured by monsters; he was injured by swords. The plot thickens. So Corvus like, so he was hurt before he ran to the monsters. And he's, and Boner is also concerned about where the boys met him. An ordinary traveler, traveler wouldn't have taken such a dangerous route. So, okay, so Cordoff automatically blames Chris for bringing the problem. God damn it, Chris. And then Doctor's like, come on now, you shouldn't blame Chris. I mean, he's only doing what St. Nervath, that's the Jesus of this world, preach the virtue of staying help to those in need. And then Cora's like, but, but shelling a fugitive is a state crime. 
did you hear about that one village that got burned down by that jackass that looks like Wesker with long hair? Oh, and the whole village will be held to blame, and you can't allow that shit. But the doctor doesn't know that if he's a fugitive or not, so we should uh, figure out the facts before we jump to those conclusions. I mean, it makes sense, right? And Corf wants to know when the stranger awakes. <laughs> And there's somebody singing in the long distance. How is he? And I guess he'll live. And Chris uh, praises his sword skills. He must be so fit he could shrug off the injuries. Um, he, he kind of claps right in front of you, dude. Are you sure you can cl uh, yeah, okay, whatever. They, he took care of that eggworm just like that. It was fully grown, too. Oh, God. Carver's so does like, this mean he's a badass? Possibly. We'll learn his name later. It's also a pretty badass name. But Carver's like, kids, it's late. Go home, please. But, Cardiff wants a word with us. Oh no. What, what could be telling us? You took Lady Adele from the manor today again. And we're like, That's no, that witch came out on her own. And then Cardiff's like, you fool. How dare you call the governor's daughter a little witch? Oh god. And we are alarmed by Cordiff's sudden nature. Cordiff points out the obvious that Lady Adele's noble. The previous governor was a, a benevolent man. And that's why he was so kind to allow us to consort with Lady Adele. Yes, her name is Adele. But I'm a 13-year-old now. We should realize our place is a peasant. <laughs> Chris is like... Dot, dot, dot. And Cardiff believes that God assigns us our roles. We're brought into this world of purpose and station in life. Kind of the belief that a lot of serfdoms end up believing in at some point. Peasants are to work the soil, thank the Lord for the lot. And we too will one day take a wife, raise children, and return to the soil here and... Hmm. Okay, that was a weird buffering issue on my end here. Oh well. I swear, this place can't get any better. Just can't. Can't get any better. Mm. God damn. <clears throat> but Leia doll's so different. I go to the, use the bathroom and there's somebody in the shower. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just go back to the laundry room. And then I go to get a drink from the vending machine. Somebody unplug the vending machine. Plug God the vending damn. machine back in, get it working. Just to find out that I have 30 cents on my card. So then I come back and heat up coffee. And somebody has cooked popcorn in the microwave recently. Like, it must have been a few minutes ago. Did they burn it? Um... No, but now my coffee just smells like popcorn. God damn. Oh. Oh, anyway, Lady I'm Adele is a noble, therefore she's gonna move away from here at some point. We grew up with her, but she's of a different world. So, we're kind of like the Ariel to her, uh, Prince Eric. And also, there is a matter of her daddy. He is being polite about saying that her dad is a dick. Things won't be the same because he's a dick. And then Chris is having his teenage problems and emotions and saying, Okay, I said I understand. They bolt out the door. And Carver's like, Please wait. Kevin! Conan! 
has come back out of the room. What, Kevin? I hear you chomping. I was eating a banana. Hey, it's sorry, I could help it over here. There, you don't think you're being a tad too harsh on the boy? Oh god. And... Yeah, the boy is... Headstrong, perhaps a little overzealous, but you don't find as many as honest and caring as that kid. And apparently the mayor doesn't dislike the boy. In fact, he's hoping that he'll marry Rosalie and take over the farm. Sorry for the noise, I'm just looking It is for okay. Them. You're looking for your taxes and where you no. hid them. No, no, I just pretty much finished all that stuff. I said screw it and just wait with whatever. Understandable. Uh, like, anyway, writing information in my bank account. The mayor's being overprotective because he doesn't want Chris to die like his parents did over a squabble of nobles. There is another plot twist. We're adopted. We kind of had to be though because our parents died. Oh yeah. Because, you know, growing up as an orphan isn't really cool. Mm. It's not really a cool lifestyle. I'm at the river, and there is a guy with things going on here. Big brother? Rosalie comes out to see us, sitting by the very small creek. I think it's a creek. Uh, certainly doesn't seem like a creek. Oh god, what is that abomination? I don't know, it was on Facebook. I have some broken oh, no. broke ass bitch. Oh no. I just heard a, I just heard a small child and I'm almost like, where is there a small child? Why the I say, hell is this this game doesn't have voice acting, Facebook? so it's certainly not from here. Why is the shit on Facebook like not being muted as they as it normally is? Because oh. I can't wait till I have a kid. Facebook likes to undo some of the changes <laughs> that you made in the past. And. Be bad. Because well, I Facebook guarantee wants if you have a kid, Codell, he'd be stealing Joe's shoes. And. Or maybe and Joe's kid's the, uh, shoes. And Chris is like, after all, I'm not his real son. Oh no. Yes, I've heard that story. <laughs> He's not up gay to raise me. I'm afraid to be mad at him. And oh my God, who is it? Oh no. Is there a domestic dispute going on over at your place, Cadell? Is that what's going on? That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> terrible. Because oh, okay. Rosie was saying that's a terrible thing to say because Chris is like, he's not my real dad. He doesn't have to raise me. I don't have the right to be mad. And yet, I'm mad anyway. Of course father is concerned about us. He gets angry because he cares. And this game has a lot of cutscenes at the beginning. Guys, I'll be right back. There's ice cream. Okay, okay. Ice cream. There's ice cream in my freezer. That's good to know. <clears throat> Pretty good. I don't. I don't Rosalie know. Rosalie like, points out the again, obvious. Though. We're not ourselves when it comes to Lady Adele. Even today, we fall off that windmill. We could have died. Do we like her? I think our character does like her. And our sister is scared because she's afraid we're gonna get into terrible trouble by being around her. Chris like, Did what? They know. And then... Stalking them. And then... <laughs> we and our, uh, teenage instincts are like, don't be silly, we won't get into trouble over that tomboy. Don't be upset -y. have some spaghetti. And he's like, sister's like, really? Then we're like, of course, really? Because I'm not going to go near her again. I won't even talk to her anymore, because I'm an edgy teenager. Edgy. After today, I've had enough. Look at the bump on my head here. At least it wasn't a fractured skull. Although, I think, in a way, that might have been preferable. 
to, well, okay, I land on the mount, the place where I have the least amount of brain. That's fine. At, at least he acknowledges he's not that brilliant. And laughing suddenly made him hungry. So let's go eat. Let's go to thinking. Let's race back home. But we are a dick because we got a head start. What is up with this? I don't know. What's going on? Well, my shit's like glitching out. Like this. This quest is like glitched. Hmm. Hey, anyway, wait. It's the next day. Oh, come on now. Advanced text. And now we get to the more normal cutscenes. Good morning, Doc. It's just the uh, text box thing that some games do. Hey, good morning, dear. How's that man? Hey, he's going better. He's sleeping out. Thank goodness. Ugh. I kind of slipped in a hot and no voice there for a moment. Anyway, there's a problem. He got wounds all over. I don't have enough ointment for fighting serious infection, so God. Do you mean the ointment made from Moorb? Goes the two girls action guy. He's like, exactly. Yuri, the prodigy of Pilates, correct. And then he keeps uh, expounding on his intelligence. And two girls action declares thinks that goat grows wild in the canyon that is conveniently near here. And I get the bright idea to go pick some. But there's monsters that live there. So, uh, we gotta go get equipped with, uh, we proper weapons and items before we go out and fight these things. And so we get to go to the shop. Now get the buy ship. First off, I'm going to give daggers to the main character. Because daggers are kind of necessary in this game. I'm also going to give uh, somebody a staff or two. And I'm going to give somebody swords. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, hello there, Jesse. Good evening. Welcome, Welcome to, the to the stream of Animal Hearts 2. Featuring Chris and several other people. Chris! Yes. Chris Redfield is here. Actually, Redfield is his last name, but that's besides the point. And I was up to four viewers, now I'm down to three. Oh well, that's, that's fine. That's quite fine. Alright, I got to 70 necromancy, I'm good. For the night! <laughs> anyway, the daggers are important because a thing that happened in the first Final Hearts game, you could just search chest and certain spots on the ground. In this game, you kind of have to need, need, you need a dagger in order to do those things. So, it's good to have someone have a dagger at all times. I'll expound on what all the stats do later, but generally speaking, you won't gain more HP as you level up like normal RPGs do. The uh, HP and MP and EP are tied to the equipment that you wear. Same thing for like attack and other things. It's uh, 
unique system. Or at least it's a very unique system for the times, at least. Yeah, because when, when, when was this game like, This was 99. Oh my god. So it kind of took a couple of ideas from Final Fantasy Tactics, but it builds on the base game of Final Hearts, which came out a little bit before Final Fantasy Tactics did. You know how old? Do y'all know how old I was in 1999? You were just a little babble. I was six. Ah. Okay. Not quite a babble. That was the year, uh, Christmas of that year was the year that I got the first three Harry Potter books for Christmas. Nice. And I proceeded... Wait, in what year? 1999. That was the year of masturbation. That's <laughs> good to know. I was six years old. Anyway, we're going to the Mazda Canyon to for Christmas, I got obtain for some Christmas. good herb to I heal our eight? friend the swordsman. Who yeah, I believe I, I was older yesterday. than I thought you were older than the, than that than me, Stalin. I was born in ninety one. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were I thought you were older than me, like oh, more, more older. My words, um, I can't words very well right I can't now. words. No, I'm only two years older than Fucking you. Fucking tired. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, we've arrived at the canyon. It's a pretty nice place. And we get to rearrange our party, and we have a fourth party member. Our sister, Rosalie. Yeah. She doesn't gain experience, so don't use her. But yeah, uh, Sarah, I figured that you'd probably think I was older since, you know, I'm kind of ornery and had the same, uh, <laughs> uh, mental capacity as Kevin up there. <laughs> That's good to know. Kevin and I think alike. <laughs> anyway, I, it looks like I'm swinging at nothing when it gets to that time, but trust me, I am swinging for a reason. I'll tell you once uh, a certain thing happens. Well, I'm going to bed, guys. I gotta get up in the morning. Alrighty. Have a good night, Stallman. Yep. Good night, good night for everybody as well. Good night. Yep, see ya. Good night. Colin, you're here. Yes. Yeah. Colin's been here. He has oh. been here for a while. It's just quiet. As per usual. Of course. Yeah. The same. Okay. We're saying no, which is typical. Down. Although, in case you're wondering, she's using a bow. And bows innately have a range of four tiles. Unless you're shooting from high above, in which case it's further because of the height advantage. Actually, let's take a look at that. She shoot down to the river from where she is currently. I have. Oh, I need to go get. Ah. I'll take that. Yes, thank you. All right. We're swinging Sarah. at nothing, but you'll notice that when we <laughs> attack. Hmm? No, go ahead, Liam. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. okay. You'll notice that when we attack. A thing pops up denoting how much experience in SP that we get. SP is skill points, and when you swing with a weapon, regardless of whether you hit an enemy or not, you'll level up your skill with the weapon you're holding. And once you reach 100 SP, I think other weapons might have more, but after you get 100 SP, you'll gain the weapon skill that's tied to it. So, for example, Yuri here. When he levels up, he'll get the skills attached to his staves. Go ahead. Jesse. That oh, was I you, was right? gonna say, Sarah, you know that phone call that I said I was gonna take? Yes. Yeah, that lasts three hours. Good lord, man. She would just not stop talking. And apparently the dude was, like, doing the same thing she was doing to me in, in another room, and he heard me talking about her, because I said, why don't you just go home, and if he's just going to treat you like that, then just end it, like, you know, 
and uh, yeah. so like I'm like trying to end the conversation because at this point it's just a broken oh, record friends. and he walks in and they start arguing on the phone with me right there so I'm just like oh my god I had to hang up eventually I couldn't take it anymore yeah that frontal assaults tend to hit less often. <laughs> but I hit with that dagger because daggers add luck. Buggies. And dexterity and other things. Take that, buggy. Yes. And yes, that is a plant monster. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Nah. -uh. Monsters technically counts Plant as an armored foe. And the bird is a uh, light armor wearing person, kind of like our hero. Hope everybody had a good day today. <laughs> that was Same all right. And it was very productive. Mine was kind of not. Not as productive as I want it to be, but. But you were still productive. Eh. Tomorrow I'll be more productive. Being productive right now. Engineering. Damn it, I did not predict that guy's move as well. But he did learn how to heat up his sword and slash with it, so I guess that's useful. Hey, we're gonna use magic. Because. Good old two girl action there learned how to cast spells. Or at least his staves did. Confuse the system is confusing. When like later on it gets confusing. Too. I've been sneezing more often lately. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick up something at the Panther Shop tomorrow. I've got a here. It's fucking snowed today. Oh my god, tell me about it. It was, it was like flurries for like 20 minutes, but I'm like... Go away! Stop this. Why? Yeah, it's a lot of horse shit. But global warming isn't real, right? We're really close to passing uh, Buffalo for the lead again. Lovely. For what? Snowfall? Oh, lovely. I assume. As and, long as they uh, keep getting snow, then we're not gonna beat them. And I think a United States record for snowfall in a single year. Haha, -ha, because global warming isn't real, right? Uh, okay. Lies! Heresy. I mean, you know, people always want to say, like, you know, this is proof that global warming isn't real. No, it's just proof that global weather cycles are a thing, but, you know, 
Global warming is a part oh, no. of acceleration. Oh no, I'm getting magic cast on me. <laughs> I've been Buster Flared. Buster Flare. But at least he only had enough to use one, so the uh, bird instantly becomes useless. See, when I was in high school, I grew up being told that we were 10,000 years overdue for a natural ice age period. That's good to know. Also, healing magic. It's good. Is it? Well, yes. in this game it's pretty good because since you don't level up HP in the normal way that you would in RPGs, you level up by... Like, you can increase things by equipping armor and weapons. And HP tends to heal a certain set of mouth. So, meaning that instead of, say, healing like 10% of your HP or having something that scales drastically, if you only have like 50 hit points or something and you heal that way, then, well, you don't really have to worry about not healing enough, I guess? And also, you get rid of spells that come useless later, so it's not like it's a complete wash or something. <sighs> I'm salty as fuck, boy. We can also prematurely end the turn, if needed, to make things go even faster. I've learned how to unlock chests with the nice. power of my dagger. Nice. I just wanted to gain one level tonight. And, uh... What game? BDO. Ah. And this fucking guy thought it would be funny to come on his, like, uber high geared level character and kill us when I had popped a 200% XP buff that only lasts once a day for an hour. So, of course, wasted. There is one more chest I'm gonna go for here. And then I'm gonna shank that bird in the kidneys. Shank it. <sighs> here we go. Okay. We're eating that kidney. Give me my tags. Well, whatever the equivalent of a bird kidney is, I'm assuming it's a very different anatomy. Um, I think birds have kidneys. They should. If they don't, they have a organ that functions as one. Yeah, as I know that they tend to release yeah. everything out of their cloaca most of the time. Yeah, birds have kidneys. Yeah, they have kidneys. Okay, good to know. They just don't. They don't have stomachs. Some, yeah, uh, it's some birds like have most of most birds. Though. Sort of thing. Which I think is the weirdest fucking thing ever. We have gizzards. Yeah. Like, I, I ha- Like, uh... Oh. I, I, I just don't understand that. Like, how does the- They just- Aren't- aren't- Birds, yeah. Birds just kind of eat rocks. rocks. Yeah, they eat like, rocks to grind food. their food. Can you- Can you imagine? Like, I don't- Wait, so I don't have to eat the rocks? Nope. No, you have to eat the rocks. I have to eat the rocks? That's what yeah. I thought. I've been eating rocks. Yeah. yeah. Eating that good old crack cocaine. Mm. <laughs> I'm crack on a motherfucking cocaine. rock! <laughs> <laughs> My god. It's helping me touch this! But kid birds have kidneys, but they don't pee. No, because their pee comes out their poop. Well, it's not really, it's not really either. It's not really pee or poop. It's both. It's, a it's excrement. And Damn. I destroyed the bird in one hit. That is the power of dagger. Dagger good. And hitting someone in the side. I call him. Let's head back to Dr. Boners with it. I mean Bonners, huh. excuse me. And we got a lot of booty this time. To be specific, we got... 1,000 booty from this battle. Yes, the, the gold. 
the prizes are called booty. It's booty Booty, 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 booty. booty. It's cool. Wow. You're cool, Meanwhile, buddy. Meanwhile, to the Byron Manor. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was talking to Colin. You guys are cool, though, too. I don't want to uh, be. We're in cool both in what? Overwatch. Eh, sure. I mean, other people are playing WoW at the time, or BDO, or anything else. And Governor Grodd's like, What's the meaning of this thing. crap? The harvest was long over, over but our tax income is below projection. I'm touching my wiener. Hey, ah. this this game is topical. It's talking about tax collectors. And the tax collector has to say, okay, these serfs are like, okay, the season's not that great, plus some there's an epidemic going around, and Gunner's like, I have no use for serfs who fail to produce. Those who cannot work should starve. There are no excuses good enough. This guy's a dick. If he is forced to send an example of tax dodgers. Okay, I wish this guy existed here. In which case, he could go for our present. Oh, I'm sorry, anyway. Enough of that. And tax lister? Why, certainly. I just need your blessing. I just want replicators from Star Trek to be real. <laughs> Never you pay know. for shit again. And when the tax collector commented about, is that really okay that we're we not, discovered didn't care no, about that? Not. Oh no. Alright, peace out, homie. Okay. A homie has been paced. Tax collector was ah, like, I should be on the tank, God yeah. Lord. And what's going on out there? Ah. Were you sure you want to keep it? Actually, no, let them take that shit back. I'm right. Hey guys, that's God dang. Now, Dal, your tutor is very concerned. You missed your lessons to carouse of peasants. I'm gonna focus on Overwatch, so I'm gonna catch you guys later. Okay, doke. Later. See you later. Bye. Peace out. And you can't catch me. I'm the ginger bread. Man. To the void. Hello? Hello? Wait, I, Hello? I thought someone was saying something to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I thought, thought, you can't catch I thought me. you'd I'm left. I'm sorry. Man. Yeah, here, I'm just mute. I'm just mute myself. Okay. So I'm still here, but yeah. Right. Yeah. You can hear us uh, talk about how. The nobles are corrupt and assholes and other weird things. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. That's why right. this place must convert to communism. Take down Whoa. the bourgeoisie of the proletariat Whoa. win. Well, pushing all the pro. The, uh, I can't believe Governor Grodd knows enough about the English language to know how to use vacuous in a sentence and also the word platitudes. At least he's not a completely dumb governor. He's just an asshole. Who, Tom Wolf? No, no, this guy oh. named Governor Grodd. Oh, he's a guy in this okay. game. Is yeah. he a gorilla? He is, however, dumb enough to think that peasants are just born without morals or criminals waiting to strike. Gorilla Grodd. Yes. You could call him Gorilla Grodd. He's not but a gorilla. Gorilla Grodd's though, really smart, though. Yeah, so he's not a Gorilla Grodd. He's probably like one of the gorillas under Gorilla Grodd. He's the under Grodd. There okay. is a equivalent of Gorilla Grodd in this game, though. I'll show you when he he arrives. It's the under Grodd. And Adele's like, that's not fair. You don't even know Chris. Yeah. And grandfather's no fool, Cosimo. I know Chris. And Governor Grodd will not stand for our insolence. He's kind of. Therefore, go to your room and you cannot leave it. Actually, oh. you can't leave your banner at all. Whatever. Close enough. Estate. And Adele, too, has the teenage uh, puberty genes. Where she slams open a door and leaves. And meanwhile, Governor Grodd just drinks his wine. Boop, boop. And we have a guy addressing us as addressing Grodd as your lordship. Ooh. Just right. get in here. Okay. This guy. Goddard. Goddamn Goddard. He's a diviner. 
and yeah, he uh, divines things, I guess. Same. If not for Governor Grodd, his daughter would have had a child out of wedlock. Wait, what? But he didn't become a governor. Didn't become a noble to become a governor of this land. Something about political jargon here. Insert political jargon here. Basically, uh, what's going on here is that before <laughs> now there were two guys that are competing to be king, and one of them was the guy that's king that was king until he was murdered by his wife. Well, the other guy is a guy named Julius. The uh, previous governor of the region that we're in supported Julius during the civil war between Julius and Lagor, who was a dead king. Now Julius lost. But the uh, governor's loyalty won him kudos from the people, and people still respected him for supporting the prince at that time. Therefore, he was not considered to be as much of a dickbag as anyone, really. And Grodd wants to use Adele as a way to get back to the capital. Diviner reasons that our fortune will, uh, his fortune will rise sharply. His dream shall become reality soon, Lordship. And he does that <laughs> laugh. Oh God! He says a major turning point is imminent, <laughs> to be exact. Oh God. And so we can move back to uh, our village. We can move to... To the clinic. We might as well. Doc, we're back with that herb. Something's the matter. The patient seems to have slipped out. With... Out the doctor knowing. Uh, yeah. So we now gotta find the swordsman that we saved way earlier. And that saved us earlier. Is he in the shop? No, he's not. I'm done with this. Don't want to give me shit for it. Okay. Whatever. Yep. To the tavern. Clive uh, asks, talks to his dad, and his dad is uh, a nice guy. It's nice enough to tell us. A bunch of times that the pub is off limits to kids. And so, uh, girl and girl actions with you too? <laughs> okay, maybe you're not lying. I mean, you've got the action here. And the action has asked the question that we are here for. And Barkeep has not seen anyone like that around. But we keep, we're giving permission to talk to his customers, so we'll do that. And they don't have information about the guy, but they do have information about life being good under the previous governor. And his son is, well... A dick, taxes went up, they demand payment right away, no excuses. Once upon a time, these people were as important as nobility, but... It's hard, but I have to finish this. 
Okay. <sighs> but I'm tired. That's a hell of a name. Zekris. That was the king, the previous king. Before the king that was killed. So two kings ago? Yes, two kings ago. King Zekris died. And tells us plot details. And we get a time frame for when this game's happening. The the one king ago, Lagor guy, died three years ago. And his kid, Franz, who was a little Babel man, became king, I guess. Well the defect from the mouthpiece, I guess. The actual queen. The well the previous king's queen and a cardinal are the real rulers. And it's also rumored that they love each other. Very much. Well then, we didn't find our swordsman here. We just got lore bits. That's fine, though. To the church! Because we have one of those. The priest knows, uh, girl and girl action rather well. Yes. It is rare to, for someone your age to have any interest in religion. Well then. And only the people have come by. The people of this village have come by today, so... He was pretty, uh... And he talks to girl girl action to start into becoming a, uh... Minister or pastor or something. We're trying to get to work. Oh, like my world quests and stuff just are refusing to to work. Like I'll go to like initiate them, and it doesn't track any progress. Hmm. Yeah. That is bizarre. Yeah. And after we go home, ask our mother if we she knew where the swordsman was. And we leave oh, our it's house. Doing the same thing. It's doing this the same exact God thing. God damn. I'm done. We have stumbled upon a ruckus. It's a marvelous ruckus. And... We see the tax collector. With a big sack of something. Probably food. And he just kicked that guy right in the face. My god. Oh no. This this game is gone there. It it's gone there. Tax collector has grabbed the man's daughter and is dragging her somewhere. And he guesses that her age is 16 to 17. And the guy's just selling her off to uh, pay off the tax burden. However, we step in and shout, make him stop. Villagers are like, we can't. Peasants like us, we have no choice. And we don't believe that shit. Damn right. I believe you, turkey. The girl shouts for help. Kicks the, the man again. And I'm like, damn, I can't watch this anymore. 
Then suddenly a hero comes out of nowhere. It, it's the swordsman from earlier. Hmm. He's like, stop right now. You know very well that slavery is strictly forbidden by law. Watch it. Who do you think you're talking to? That's a mean old governor Grodd that hands it to you, get it? Yeah. And the swordsman's like, A governor the son in the kingdom is no noble. Big talk, you stranger. You can remit your tax with your blood. Die. Oh, he pulls out a fucking sword, well, but the swordsman just punches the tax collector. Has the sword <laughs> fly up in the air and he just catches the sword. Damn. He is a badass. It's oddly ironic, considering that the IRS extended their tax deadline by one day. Yes. And then Sorden is like, Be gone, you pathetic yeah. worm. And he's like, You're gonna regret what happened here. And he runs off. Leaves the sack of tax right there. We're like, Yay, swordsman. You know, since Luke brought it up, sorry to sidetrack Go ahead. briefly. Um, what does the tax deadline actually fucking matter? Especially when you can file taxes anytime you want, even after the deadline. I don't understand. Penalties, after for the deadline. penalties for filing your taxes after the after the deadline. Right, but if you make under uh, twenty grand a year, they can't penalize you anyway. So. They, oh no. Oh. I was gonna say, oh, they did anyway, but that's because I, well, according to the IRS, I made like 65 grand in 2016. This is a fucking trust fund. Yeah. So I was going to argue that I'm like, oh, if you're if you're below the poverty line, they they can't. Take oh it shit! Yeah, I am. I made like seven grand last year. Yep. So anyway. I, I just just <laughs> sorry sorry Luke. I just it's okay. It's a point worth taxes, discussing. Anyway. This yeah. game does involve taxes an awful lot in the early game. And now the villagers are like, oh no, Governor Grodd didn't get his tax, that means he's gonna punish us, oh no. And the swordsman's like, yeah, your previous governor was a good guy. I can't imagine that he would allow this cruelty even in retirement. Mayor's like, eh, yeah, that's a good point, but he left six months ago to, uh, Carries arthritis. <laughs> and now Swordsman's gonna be like leaving now. Mayor's like, yeah, do it. And then, we, the main character, are like, no, he's not over his injuries yet, you idiot. Don't let him go. But all the villagers are like, eh, we're, we're not going to. And girl's like, I'm sorry. And starts like, sorry and farewell, and then walks off. We are sullen and sad over this. Wah, wah, wah. He really left. What should we do? Goes girl on girl action. <laughs> he did save our sister's life. We can't just let him go. And we can apparently still catch up. He's probably going through the Yoda plane, which is close to here, I guess. We can catch up if we hurry. And now for another game mechanic. So, certain Which weapons have skills fucking... attached to them, and you can actually transfer the skills that you unlock on one weapon to another weapon, meaning that two skills can be on one weapon, as long as you've unlocked them. Meaning that you don't have to stick with one weapon for the entire time to have a certain skill that you'd want. There is one catch with that. You can't have uh, 
spells or skills that are of opposing alignments on the same item. But that's not an issue if you dual wield with weapons like, say, if you have a Staff of Fire and a Staff of Ice or something like that. But this allows you to... get, like, have, like, upgrade weapons and wear shields and other weird things. Which, incidentally, we're gonna do, because we didn't get shields the first time here. So, going to find a good place to save this. We can save on the main map, I believe. Yep, we can. Two save slots, how convenient. Okay, uh -huh. so we've collected 5.5% of the weapons in this game. Because it does track what percentage of weapons you've found in this game. Nice. And I think I'm going to conclude the stream here, if only because some of you guys will probably want to go to bed at some point. Oh, no, I have to finish this first. Right. Anyway. Thank you for those that came out today. You're welcome. In I case you're interested in further shenanigans, be sure to follow me on Twitch here, and in case you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.